the wife of the Yoruba rights activist Sunday Adeyemo, aka Sunday Igbo, and six others who were abducted when suspected operatives of the Department of State Services stormed the Soka residence of the activists have been released. News report has it that they were released in a kitty state few minutes after Ibuho announced the suspension of the Yoruba Nation rally in Lagos. The leader of the umbrella body of the Yoruba Self-Determination Groups, Ilano Omoudua, Emeritus Professor Banji Akintoye, had earlier disclosed how security operatives stormed the residence of Ibuho in the early hours of Thursday. He said, he said this in a statement personally signed by him and made available to newsmen by his communications manager, Mr. Maxwell Adeleye. The statement was titled Yoruba Nation, Elements of the Nigerian Army Accompanied by International Terrorists Hired by the Nigerian State Attacked Sunday Igbo's residence, Akintoye. According to the communications manager, Akintoye alleged that the assailants were all dressed in military uniform and spoke French language fluently. He further said that the gunmen killed seven occupants in the building and whisked Ibuho's wife and several others away. All right, guys, the latest development right now is that Sunday Ibuho's um, wife that was kidnapped or abducted during the attack and the raid on his home earlier in the uh, today has been released in far away Ekiti State. This happened after he announced the suspension of the Yoruba Nations rally that was billed to hold in Lagos on the 3rd of July. Probably if he had not announced the suspension of the Yoruba Nation rally, probably the wife wouldn't have been released. That is what it is actually seeming like or looking like. I stand to be corrected if I am wrong. But the question is, who were these guys? Now, the Nigerian army had come out to say that they were not responsible for the attack on Sunday Buhu's home. If they were not responsible, then who were the people that were responsible? According to reports of an eyewitness who was actually uh, uh, around when they came, it was reported that the assailants or the alleged soldiers and DSS members had said that they were that they were soldiers and the Department of the State Services DSS, and they called Igboho to come out. But unfortunately, Igboho did not come out, and uh, nobody knows how. Sunday Igboho actually escaped, but all they found them their ways into his room and he could not be found. He was not there. But meanwhile, it was reported that Igboho was actually at home when he came, and Igboho himself said it that he saw them. He was at home when they came, he saw them through the window when he looked in. And how he actually escaped is still a mystery to everybody except, except himself. Reports of the eyewitness also further said that when the assailants were about leaving, they got a call that they should go back and check that he was in the roof. And they went in back and started checking all the roofs, they were destroying the roofs of the house, but Igboho was not found. It was at that point that they killed some of the people and uh, abducted Sunday Igboho's wife. And it was also reported that they also, you know, took along with them um, the wife of Sunday Igboho and the dead bodies of the people that were killed. Now it is said that about um, six other persons were released alongside Sunday Igboho's wife in Ekiti State. The question is who are these people and where are they going to? It remains to be seen, you know, how this happened or what has happened. Probably, you know, there would be more release as time goes on you know, as to what is going on and uh, the brain or the reason behind all that is happening. It is sad and unfortunate that this is what is actually happening in the uh, country today.
they never wanted um, Igboho to host the rally, the Yoruba Nation rally in Lagos. So to a very large extent, there is a suspected belief that those guys dressed in army uniform and TSS uniform were actually sponsored by some persons or politicians or big men or what have you, you know, who p probably are not yet known. But with time, it is expected that they will come out. So it is what it is, guys. What are your thoughts concerning this particular news story? As it were, if all that is happening right now is just to um, ensure the ta uh, Sunday Buhu from going ahead with a Yoruba Nation protest or rally in Lagos, then they probably have succeeded as he has announced the suspension of the Yoruba Nation rally in Lagos State. This is coming just um, after Namde Kano was actually arrested and repatriated back into the country to continue trial. The question is, what has Sunday Ibuho done? Well, he wasn't going, it's going for the uh, rally in Lagos to cause any trouble. It was, he was only going for a campaign and awareness, which to a very large extent, you know, is not against the uh, laws of the land. But we are in an, uh, in, in an administration. We are in an administration where the rule of law does not um, apply and um, the government does whatever they want to do. Now, as it is, they have actually um, successfully put fear into the hearts and the minds of people. They have successfully ensured that there will be no protest, there will be no form of gathering, no form of criticism against the government. They attack the social media, they also attack uh, you know, protesters and all what have you. So it is sad and unfortunate. Well, it is unfortunate that this is what um, these guys are up to, where they don't want people to criticize them. Those working for President Muhammad Buhari are bent on silencing anybody who wants to stand against him or who wants to. Well, we keep our fingers crossed to see how things unfold on this particular news story as it were. Guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular situation? Well, drop by at the comment section. Let us know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe. Please kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Endeavor to share these new stories with your friends, family, relations, and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support. And I will see you guys on the other news. Thank you and bye for now.